Yeah, of course. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, no way. In between as well, huh? Welcome back everyone, Simply Are You here? And today we are uh, together to watch the slime anime. <laughs> and today we're gonna watch episode 4. Last time we got a new clan. We got the Dire Wolves clan. And we killed the chief and we named everyone. And now everyone is much, much better looking. And much stronger as well, right? Very, very strong. And I guess the goal of today is to go and see what the dwarf can do to help us for, you know, making houses, uh, making food and stuff like this. So let's get into it. The Ameld River in the Kingdom of Dwarves. I like how the narrator voice is the same name as uh, the same voice as Rimuru. <laughs> yep, we are making clothes and houses. That's right. <laughs> Why are you going even faster? Yeah, Gupta. I like how they how they look. Very interesting. I like how Gupta didn't evolve at all, right? Or maybe just a little, I guess. Yeah, see? Finally. We killed the dad. I don't think it matters too much in those um, in those packs, right? Yep. They spared, yeah, right? And you gave us a name. The Armed Nation of Dwargon. Interesting name. Of course, there is a cave system, right? Oh, we elves and human. Okay. Yeah, of course. Undefeated for a thousand years? Okay, that sounds like uh Eh, maybe, right? <laughs> the king's bad side, huh? Foreshadowing, maybe? Yep, it took how much? Three days instead of two months. Nice. Ah, uh, of course it's... Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It's a city inside the mountain, right? Just makes sense. So we can kill it? Yep. Flag collected, that's right. <laughs> Get out of here. Nice threat. Yep. <laughs> Just use some aura, right? Oh, I guess they can't feel it, right? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, get. He has a screw inside his head and a big scar as well. <laughs> Those guys are very brave. I can give it to them at least. <laughs> like, companions appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, they can try their hardest, but. Yeah! <laughs> Look at. <laughs> his fur is too tough. <laughs> of course not. You are way too strong, buddy. <laughs> it's actually pretty effective. I mean, at least you didn't kill them, right? 16 fled. 68 confused. 92 fainted. 34 soiled themselves. I love this. Can you even get in? Oh, we have the dwarves now. <laughs> Scar them off, yep. Scare, wow. Words, I swear. Nice. Oh. Armosaurus in the mine. Oh. He gave them potion, right? Healing potion. <laughs> Is he making shapes with his threads? Tokyo Tokyo Tower? Really? Okay. Yes. There you go. Nice dwarves. Nice dwarves. Even the hand. Nice. No. No. Yep. 
<laughs> it's so much more civilized. I like how we have uh, steampunk machines. Is it steampunk? I think it's just steam, to be honest. Nice armor. Kaijin. <laughs> yeah, it looks tough, but it might just be nice, to be honest. Or clumsy. Let's see. It's those guys again. Oh, is he gonna say thanks? Nice. All those dwarves are so nice. So nice. Maybe it was? Yep. Oh, uh, going to war. 20 long swords? By the end of the week? Wow, that's nuts. Of course there is a human involved. Of course he's corrupt. I mean... Right, right. Humans, right? Always. Not really humans, but like mo more like nobles, right? Nah. See, that's the issue. We need to make long sword. We need materials, but we have all of those. Yeah, yeah, see? And I'm pretty sure he can learn how to craft the swords as well inside of him. See? It's a cluster of magisteel. Yes. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is he gonna ask? Nothing fancy for sure. Yeah? Yes. I mean, why not, right? You know, I would think that you can probably synthesize, synthesize, right, the sword and make them yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust the process, trust the process, I believe. There you go. See how broken Himuru is, but it just makes sense. That's what's gonna happen. I like it, it took him one day instead of five. Butterflies of the night. <laughs> of course. Yeah, of course. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, no way. In between as well, huh? Where are we, Himuru? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> That's insane. Paradise, huh? Yeah. Look at him! He's on her... <laughs> of course he's sitting here, of course. Yeah? Oh. Alright, so since we are done with the episode, we're gonna move to the scans. If you want to skip to the outro so we can talk about it, you are free to do it right now. If you want to see the highlights of the, the panels, you are free to stay. We have a we have a huge mountain range, and we see the the place. Of course, it's very different though, for sure. <laughs> I like how the two the two uh, bad guys are very different on the the panels. Look at this. We don't have the scar. We don't have the huge screws inside the head. That is actually insane. I didn't do any bad things at all. Oh, okay, so we have so we go into prison and then we like think back on what's happening, right? Yeah, we have the scream as well. Enough is enough. Even though I didn't take any damage, it's too noisy. Third, I slightly shorted a little. <laughs> and then we have the same, uh, the same end, right? And then we have the guard coming. Pretty in interesting um, way of doing this, right? Wait, so this is the actual Tokyo Tower? I had never seen the Tokyo Tower. I, th I thought it was the, the Eiffel Tower, right? In France. But maybe it's just a Tokyo Tower that looks like this. Wow, Kaijin looks so different. Interesting. Yeah, weapon create, creating artisan. <laughs> I really want one. It's a magic. It's a sword that grows according to the user. Actually, very interesting. And look, we have the same guy. <laughs> the same uh, minister called Besta. 
apparently. Oh, he's actually asking the, the guy to, to come to the village and become a technology director. The fact that Rimuru can like analyze everything and then make a copy of it if he has the materials is insane. It's going to be the same beautiful woman. How terrific. And we have the same, uh, the same hugs and stuff. Look at him. This is bad. How thrilling. Their clothes are so thin. <laughs> a challenge towards me. The same thing happened, of course. Yep. Yep. He made just a, a small amount, right? There you go. Are you unable to taste anything? Uh -huh. Poor drink for me, blah, blah, blah. So we have the, he can't eat anything. Wait, are we, am I going too far? I think I'm not reading anything right now. I'm, I think I'm just going too far. Okay. So this is where we stopped, except in the, in the anime, we had the, like the ominous guy outside. But um, there was none of this, so I'm assuming this is going to be in the next episode. So I think I'm just going to stop here. Okay, well, that's going to be it for the chapter. We actually read a couple of chapters. We read chapter 4, 5, and a couple of uh, scans of chapter 6. And then we ended up finishing episode 4 of the slime anime. So there you go. In this one, we met with the dwarves, of course. But we saw that Rimuru is actually pretty broken. He has all of this uh, healing magic or healing potions. He can actually restore like uh, missing parts of the body, like the hand of the one of the dwarf. Then we have the, the crafting process. We met a couple of people. We had some action outside because uh, they fought. The two people from the anime and the manga were actually very, very different. It's actually pretty interesting to see the, the differences between the two. And then we had, the, as I said, the crafting process that took just a couple of seconds for Rimuru and a lot more time for the for Kaijin. Very interesting. So of course, next time we're going to have even more action, even more story. That's just what it is. I'm just very happy with this episode overall. I hope we can catch up pretty fast to season three. It looks like we have a lot to do. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you like the video, like the video. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment as well. And if it's your second time coming here, please subscribe. Bye.